Hey everybody, it's Jasmine, just catching up and uh, give you a quick little update. Just a small little vlog today to go out for the weekend because I really don't have a lot of videos going out this week. Um, kind of wanted to talk about that. Um, uh, we'll just start from the top and we'll just talk about like why there's not that many videos going out on the weekend. Um, since I started doing my channel, I've been finding it that it's actually quite challenging to record a lot of content ahead of time. And, you know, usually that is is okay, you know, I mean, like, usually I have no problem doing this, but a lot of the content I've been recording ahead of time has been for the main channel. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm trying to keep on top of a good recording schedule, so I also have content for this channel here, um, Stump Jazz. And it's great. It's been working out fine so far, except I've been coming short like the last two weekends in a row. I haven't had much content on um, Saturdays and Sundays. And I want to change that starting the following weekend. So as if today is Saturday, next Saturday should be content. Um, one of the things I've been wanting to do is like on the weekends is have like a um, kind of like a random like like a Saturday something like Price and Rick does something that's like brand new to the channel it's a one-off something like that and I might actually get something going but this weekend it's going to be a little tough for me only because we're getting ready for PAX where it's today's Ashes well I'm recording this on Friday but it comes out on Saturday but Friday August 12th is Ash's birthday and uh, a lot of stuff has been uh, kind of pushed the side because we're going to go out and um, celebrate Ash's birthday with his mom and his aunt and then uh tomorrow which is today august 13th so getting a little confused here i'm taking him out to actually have a nice birthday with rick price and a couple of his friends so yeah it's just going to be a little hectic um there's just a lot of recording i'm doing right now a lot of it's for stumped and not so much for this channel which i apologize because i'm trying to keep this channel um continuously have daily videos and like i said i want to do daily videos but if i can't i'm sorry um, i'm getting there so Death Row to Canada is something I wanted to put out this weekend. Unfortunately, it's I've been having a hard time getting Ash and myself to sit down together to record the game. And uh, we just kind of lost track of time. And so that's just how it is. It's just, it's just one of those things. You can't really plan for it. You can't do it. Um, we've been uh, extremely busy the last few weeks, like especially since we've been putting out like three videos on Stumped. Um, we've been doing a lot of stuff. So yeah, it's, I, I don't want to keep making excuses for it. I'm just letting you know that's exactly where we're at right now. And I want to start moving forward, try to get that a little bit more um, figured out. And I'm sorry, I'm like so fidgety, like moving stuff around. I got like, my desk is a complete mess right now. I just got papers, cans, cups, toys, nail things. God, I got a shit ton of nail polish on my desk. It's ridiculous. I need to like put some of that stuff away. So speaking of daily content that I have so far, I have two series, Headlander and Abzu. I think I'm pronouncing Abzu correctly. Anyways, I just want to see if uh, people are still enjoying it, the series. Um, Headlander, I thought was going to be a nice, um, easy kind of going game. And uh, it turns out it's actually much, much harder than I thought it was going to be. And it's not the puzzle it's not that the puzzles are hard it's actually the the combat which kind of keeps me from going forward in a lot of places i actually cut quite a lot of that out it's actually a lot difficult than i thought it was going to be and so i just want to see how people are still liking the game um please let me know your comments and your suggestions down below if you can think of anything uh i could do to make the commentary better or maybe um try to go with the story faster I, i'm not exactly sure how long the game lasts so I feel like it's probably has like maybe a couple more hours in it, like story-wise, but like there's a lot of back and forth in that game. So I just want to know how people are, or how it's doing, um, and how it's sitting well with you guys. Same thing for Abzu. Abzu is beautiful. I'm really happy I started that game. Um, that one I'm actually 100% full on board with, um, now that I'm playing it. And that one is actually progressing a lot faster than Headlander. So I just want to like gauge people's opinions and see what you guys think about both of those series. Um, and if you'd like to see different series like that so far, I definitely want to continue doing Telltale stuff and I might continue with the Minecraft story mode, but not right away because I actually don't own it. But uh, speaking of series, I do want to start. Uh, I might start a No Man's Sky series if you guys are interested in that. I'm not exactly sure 
how to go about doing it. I might watch a few other people playing the game, but I also want to just play blindly and fresh. But I've been hearing a lot of mixed reviews about the game. Um, mixed, um, just a lot of uh, mixed feelings about it, especially from Rick. He said he's been playing it recently, and uh, there's a, there's a few intuitive challenges in the game and so I'm kind of like I don't know if I should put it on the channel or not I know it's like a hot topic or a hot button right now and I kind of want to jump on it but I just want to feel like I, I want to gauge people's reactions and uh, how you feel about seeing that on the channel and so yeah these are just like thoughts I had I want to kind of put out some type of like update for you guys so um, we'll move on from there speaking of updates though PAX is happening and I'm really, really excited about that. And I hope you guys are too. Uh, anybody that is able to get out to Seattle and meet us, we are definitely going to have a meetup. The meetup dates we are not 100% confirmed on. I'm waiting for Ash's approval on that. But it's looking like it might be a Saturday. If not, we will update everybody ahead of time to let you know where we're going to be at. But I am really, really looking forward to PAX. And that being said, I am gearing up and getting ready for that long break that we'll have or there's no recording and no editing and so there's a lot of things i am like excited to see i'm excited to see people meet people um see you guys if you guys are going to show up <laughs> because it's gonna be really fun we might do um another meetup at gameworks which is like an arcade across the street from pax which actually worked out really nice um and so yeah we might do that again this year there's different definitely some things i have been working on for packs for the fan meetup itself, I have actually started working on um, making buttons. And last year when we went to PAX, we found out that stickers are a huge, huge no-no. And it's understandably because people like to stick things in places that they shouldn't. And so buttons are a lot more acceptable. <laughs> Cause you know, pins, they have pins, they trade pins like crazy. Buttons, everybody was giving out buttons. So this year we're gonna do buttons as well. And so I actually made three different styles. I'm gonna show them right here. And just to let you guys know, they are not available to sell. Unfortunately, with the service that Sticker Meal provides, we can't sell them online. We can only buy them wholesale. I'm not exactly sure if we can ever get them at a third party site that will actually sell them along with shirts. Cause we actually use Redbubble for our shirt and um, unfortunately they don't do buttons yet. So once they do do buttons, then yeah, we could definitely sell them. But right now there's just, there's no way we can get them unless you actually meet us at the fan meetup. And if we have extras and people send in, uh, you know, fan mail, I may try to include one of those, but that's if we have any extras left over after packs. So yeah, um, if you like them, great. You know, if you're going to be at Seattle, definitely look forward to getting one of these things. I want to get them in. <laughs> your guys's hands as much as possible so yeah uh just to let you guys know on that and then after pax i'm just going to give you a heads up is that i will be gone for the entire week of the third i think it's the second through let me look at this i have to look at the dates the first through the 12th i will essentially be gone um immediately after pax i am going to be taking a, a family trip to Iowa to see my grand my mom's parents and um, my grandparents I guess and uh, yeah there will be probably very limited content on the channel for that week and the week following but I'm gonna try really really hard to make sure that it's really well buffered so that I don't have to worry about um, content going out so yeah if you guys see that there's like not as much stuff going out every day that's the reason why and I just want to give you guys a heads up and I'm gonna try to get prepared for that but I will essentially just be gone those those uh that week like that whole like week and the uh, little bit a little over a week that's my little update i just want to let you guys know that there is a lot of stuff in the works i am planning to get a minecraft series going on the channel this is a uh kind of a long-term goal that i want to do i want to actually have a nice multiplayer channel or a multiplayer series on my channel and I would love to collab with other people. And I've already got a few people in mind, I just haven't reached out to them yet. And um, part of the reason why I held off so long on doing this is because I wanted to have an actual dedicated server that we can actually sign on to. And as of now, my computer has actually been swapped out. We um, used a lot of our company's money to uh, upgrade our computers, which is definitely a huge thing. That's something that we all desperately needed to do because good God, um, 
my computer was really slowing down for like the last couple weeks. But anyways, <laughs> uh, the leftover parts that we had from my computer, we actually made a nice dedicated render rig for me and Ash, and we're actually going to put our server onto it. And so that was one of the reasons why I kind of held off on starting the series is because I wanted to have like an actual dedicated tower that could actually host the server so we never have to like worry about turning it on because that's, that's one of the problems with our Shattered Sky series is that we can only play on it whenever Ash can turn it on for us. So if we actually have a dedicated server that's running constantly, then that'd be great. And uh, so yeah, that's something that we can actually finally do now. And um, yeah, I want to reach out, maybe put some feelers to the few people I have in mind. And I've mentioned this to Rick. And uh, yeah, I really want to get that going. And uh, I also want to throw out there that Rick and myself, if you haven't seen any of the Seven Days to Die series, you should definitely go check it out. Me and Rick are having such a blast playing that game that we are, we have been like really like, really putting it in an Ash and Price's ear that we want to get a four player started on this. And so we will eventually get that going. We don't know when. Um, Price and Ash actually don't own the game yet, but we're, we'll definitely get them involved in it soon. But whenever our Seven Days to Die series ends on Rick's channel, I think that's when we're going to go start a full four-player version of that game. And so yeah, that's something I'm really excited about and I want to really continue doing because that game is so goddamn fun. There's another thing I wanted to add on is that me and Rick will be starting Do Don't Starve together again soon. Um, we haven't really gotten together to record it only because um, our weeks have been really filled with recording. Um, we've been doing a lot of Seven Days to Die. And also... This week has been a little rough for Rick only because Mel finally had her surgery and she is doing so well in recovery that she's actually going to be taking, she's actually going to get discharged early. So he wants to be there for her and make sure she's okay. And so um, he's been um, been with her and, her, you know, his mother-in-law and taking care of Mel. And so, yeah, there's going to be a little weird, wonky, you know, situation just this week, but things should get better soon. So, yeah, just to give you a heads up on that, if you guys are really curious. So, yeah. Stay tuned on our streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. We always have a live stream those days. Oh, that was another thing I was trying to get back to. See, I'm always like, I, I my brain runs in circles. I'm not very, um, I always forget. I always have to write things down. You see this? This is everything I've been trying to keep in track of. Um, speaking of streams, the week I mentioned um, from the 1st through the 12th, I will not be available for really any streams. I might be available for a stream on Wednesday. I might have a small stream on then, but between those dates, I will not be available to stream. Um, we will not, we will definitely not have a stream on Friday, or no, excuse me, Monday the 5th, because we will still be at PAX. So, and then I may be able to stream on the Wednesday the 7th. I may, that's a huge maybe. Uh, but I would definitely will not be available for that Friday the 9th where me and Rick streams together. So yeah, um, that was another big update I wanted to keep you guys on because I will be out of town. So yeah. Anyways, let's end this vlog before I get any more confused. Uh, I Again, thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are phenomenal. And I we could not have done it without you guys because you guys are just so amazing to us. And um, it's, it's just really incredible how far... And how, you know, <laughs> not how far. God, you see, this is where I'm at. It's incredible how much you guys really support us and how much you care. And it shows every single time you read your comments and stuff like that. And when you guys come to the stream. So yeah, thank you so much for joining us and, you know, staying with us so far because it's been great. And uh, we, we can only hope that we go uh, above and beyond this year and the following year. And um, we'll talk more about this in the next vlog. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much. Oh, God. Thank you guys so much uh, again, and I will see you soon. Bye. <laughs>